Good morning, and thank you for joining us for Mass today. Today we celebrate the sixth Sunday of Easter, and Father Chuck Coleman will be our presider, and he's being assisted by Deacon Billy Adkins. Our Mass today is being offered for the people. Whether you are here with us today or praying with us from home, we encourage you to participate in the Mass as you are able. The worship aid contains all of the readings and the songs. And if you do not have a paper copy, feel free to use your smartphone or device to access it from our St. Austin homepage. It is sad and painful that not all of us can be together or feel comfortable receiving the Eucharist during this challenging time. Knowing that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is present to us in the Eucharist and wherever we gather, be it in our homes or here at church, let us together say the prayer for a spiritual communion found on the front of the worship aid. Together, my Jesus, I believe that you are in the sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separate from you. And now let us stand and together sing our opening song found on the front of the worship aid, O Breathe on Me, O Breath of God.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Welcome to you all, both here and all those joining us at home on your porch or in your living room by uh, Facebook. Welcome. Glad to have you with us as we celebrate the sixth Sunday of this Easter season. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty, Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit in the glory. The glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that we may celebrate with heartfelt devotion these days of joy, which we keep in honor of the risen Lord and that what we relive in remembrance, we may always hold to in what we do. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip when they heard it and saw the signs that he was doing. For unclean spirits, crying out in a loud voice, came out of many possessed people, and many paralyzed or crippled people were cured. There was great joy in that city. Now when the apostles in Jerusalem heard that Samaria had accepted the word of God, they sent them Peter and John, who went down and prayed for them. 
that they might receive the Holy Spirit. For it had not yet fallen upon any of them. They had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then they laid hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, sanctify Christ as Lord in your hearts. Always be ready to give an explanation to anyone who asks you for a reason for your hope, but do it with gentleness and reverence, keeping your conscience clear, so that when you are maligned, Those who defame your good conduct in Christ may themselves be put to shame. For it is better to suffer for doing good, if that be the will of God, than for doing evil. For Christ also suffered for sins once, the righteous for the sake of the unrighteous, that he might lead you to God. Put to death in the flesh, he was brought to life in the spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If you love me, you will keep my commandments. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always, the Spirit of truth whom the world cannot accept, because it neither sees nor knows him. But you know him because he remains with you and will be in you. I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. In a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me because I live and you will live. On that day you will realize that I am in my Father, and you are in me, and I in you. Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. And whoever loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, the Lord Jesus Christ. Sometimes I feel like a motherless child. Sometimes I feel like a motherless child. Sometimes I feel like a motherless child. A long way from home. This 19th century black spiritual captures a feeling that you may be having during this time of pandemic, of sickness and death, of isolation and distance from friends and church community, family and relatives, of economic hardship and great loss. To feel like a motherless child is to feel abandoned, vulnerable, lost. In contrast, in the gospel this morning, Jesus assures us, I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. With Jesus, we are never, ever alone. We are never like a motherless child. We are deeply loved and cared for. Jesus declares to us in our gospel, in a little while, the world will no longer see me but you will see me because I live and you will live. Jesus is not talking here about normal physical life, but a much greater, deeper, and more wonderful life, life in the Holy Spirit. Jesus continues, on that day you will realize that I am in my Father, and you are in me, and I am in you. Jesus is speaking of the very deep intimacy of spiritual union. That is what the life of the Holy Trinity is like. Jesus in the Father, the Holy Spirit in Jesus and in the Father, the Father in all. So Jesus is inviting us into the intimacy of God's own inner life, Trinitarian life. Jesus tells us, whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. Love is not about words, not about protestations, not about feelings. Love is about doing, observing the Lord's commandment to love one another is the way to love the Lord. Jesus promises us 
And whoever loves me will be loved by my Father. And I will love them and reveal myself to them. We come to know Jesus in loving him. And the more we truly know him, the more we love him. And that overcomes any pandemic. Jesus gives us great assurance in the gospel this morning. I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. Simple, but great news. As people of faith, let us profess our faith using the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Mindful of how tremendous are the deeds of the Lord, let us petition our gods. For the church, as we anticipate the ascension of Jesus, that we be transformed to shout to God with cries of gladness as we await the coming of the Holy Spirit, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish, as we dare embark on the generational transformation of our campus, that we be glad and rejoice that this soon shall be the day the Lord has made, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the heroes among us during this pandemic, that we cry out to God with joy for the gifts they are bringing to God's work, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who persevere on the margins of our society, that their struggles become visible to us, blessed with prosperity, as we confront struggles never imagined, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here at church, in our homes, or wherever we are, celebrating this Mass, that we find comfort in the Lord when our hearts are troubled, and extend that comfort to others whose hearts may also be troubled, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Paulist Father John Duffy, on this, his 45th anniversary of his ordination to the priesthood, may God continue to bless him and his ministry, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Shannon Maynor, Alberta Smoke, Josefina Zampira, Marcella Reese, Paulus' father Rich Colgan, and all who are ill. That in their trials they may feel safeguarded through faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died. that the Lord will make the withered tree bloom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Father, you have made your dwelling in us. Hear our prayers. Fulfill our needs. Grant us your salvation. We ask all this through Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. Amen. I invite you to please be seated. Thank you to all of you who have been faithful in continuing your support or even increasing it. You can sign to give up 
You can sign up to give online or give by text. Directions are on our website, stainaustin.org. You can always mail in a check. Your support is very much appreciated. Thank you. For those physically attending this Mass, there is no passing of the basket. Please either mail in your check or give online. You are not obligated to attend Mass on Sunday during this time. If you are sick or have someone at home who is sick or are a senior or have a compromised immune system, you should stay home. We will continue our schedule of broadcast Masses at 8 a.m. Monday through Saturday and 8.45 a.m. on Sunday. Please join us live on the St. Austin Facebook page, our rebroadcast on YouTube. You can find our bulletin online at our parish website, stainaustin.org. Know that we are praying for you. Please keep us in your prayers during this unusual and difficult time, praying for health, for wisdom, and especially for patience. Thank you. Please pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord of hosts, and Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, giving you thanks. He said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look upon the offering of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her beloved spouse, with Saints Peter and Paul, the Apostles, the Glorious Martyrs, Saint Augustine of Canterbury, Saint Mary of Magdala, Saint Phoebe, and all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope, Joe our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people your son has gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you in that, at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. At the Savior's command and informed by divine teaching, <clears throat> we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the risen Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Would you bring over one of those uh, jars of sanitizer, the hand pump things? Just bring it right here. takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For our communion today, it will be only under the form of uh, the consecrated host, the bread, the body of Christ. We come forward observing the steps six, six, uh, 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 six feet of di uh, distance. And then if you go either to the right or the left, wearing your mask as you come up. And then when you get to the end of the, toward the side aisle, just take your mask off and receive the Eucharist. The body of Christ. Amen.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our risen Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended, go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Thank you.